Where are we at outside? Man, she took us really far out. Like, what the hell? We went from Levin Street over to here. Like, where's the police station? Where the fuck were we going, Sybil? Stupid. Five, five, five. I've come out into the woods Get for a party, seven, but I want to come home. Uh, I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I'm outside a ranger station. I don't like the crowd here. I want to come home. Yeah. Five, five, five. Get seven, uh, three, three. Through to the office of the state forestry department. If you're hearing this message, then there's no one to man the phones right now. Please call back during office hours. In the event of an emergency, please contact local emergency services. Okay, so no help there. You are here. Town is to the east. To be fair, we already knew that because we've got the wonderful convenience of GPS, which, by all rights, probably shouldn't be working in this storm. I can't get a decent mobile signal when I'm in a two-story building. Gonna need a key. All right. What can a key be? Oh, sure, yeah. I mean, who needs first aid, right? It was probably y'all used up by who, whichever last sound... Pro I completely fucked that joke up. Whichever Silent Hill protagonist came through last probably used all of them. Okay, fucking spooky. Map's not really gonna. Okay, my destination is there, so it's more on the street. Oh, if I just follow the road, I should be fine. It's probably secrets and collectibles off the beaten path, but uh... ah, fuck it. We'll have a quick look. Anything? No. no. Oh. 
I was hoping I'd be able to like home in using the noise, but it seems to just be constant. Inches away, I can feel it, but I, I'm not finding the exact spot. Oh, cool. following you again, bro. You always were the first to do things, but it wasn't right that you were the first to die. Lying down now, so cold, can't feel my legs. Oof. Here was me thinking I'd have to approach and do like a puzzle where you have to like physically like you know move the metal bar out of the locks like no I just jump it. Your character does cardio, he's good. Yeah, he does. You know, he's rich. He can afford all that. I don't know where I'm going with this. Five 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 seven six six nine. Okay. Uh, seven six six nine. Storm warnings remain in effect until 7 p.m. tomorrow. Freak weather has created a deep storm system moving across the state. Unprecedented north to northwest winds of 75 to 85 miles per hour with gusts to around 95 miles per hour will result in substantial blowing and drifting snow and sharply reduced visibility. Near whiteout conditions are expected. A winter storm warning for snow and blowing snow means severe winter weather conditions are expected or occurring. So it's interesting. It's unprecedented, right? Like, is this clearly a supernatural event? And it's not just Silent Hill, it's the entire state that is being hit by these storms. thought it would be fun to spike the new girl's drink. Oh, well, this is a great fucking start. Didn't know it would end up like this. We thought she was still swimming, but she wasn't moving. And they took a photo of it. That was, uh, there was Echo Ghost in the basement. Ah, shit. I don't know if I can go back for that. Uh, sorted. I'll take a look. Let's have a look. I keep assuming the game is gonna like prevent me from like backtracking, but so far it hasn't been too aggressive about that. So let's see. Where is this ghost? Uh, beyond here. <laughs>
Oh, here it is. start of heavy rain. Run, kid. You're gonna be in a bad video game. I will never resist an opportunity to shit on heavy rain. I'm, well, just David Cage games in general, just because I'm, I'm an asshole like that. Oh shit! I was not expecting that. Okay, so where am I? Station. No name for this area. Henry on the Lake Life B. What do you see, Henry? Give me your wisdom. I appreciate that they have a little diagram for how to throw a net. Or, nope, nope, that is a life raft. I'm stupid. You know what? You know what? The fact that I would make that mistake, the, the diagram has justified itself. Got to account for people who are just fucking stupid like me. Okay. Oh shit! Is this is this moonshine? I mean, I usually you'd use like a bathtub. Are they using a fucking hammock for moonshine? I keep expecting to like hit a dead end, but so far I haven't. fishing since I was a kid. Okay. At this point, yeah, I'm going in circles. So head back. I think this is just another entrance to get to the lakeside. This game's not as linear as I had heard. I, I had heard that, like, compared to the sort of semi-open world games that the other ones were, that this one was, like, extremely linear. But it's more like it's, like, level-based, with, like, very large levels. Yeah, that's the basement where I was. So what's down here? So he gets the cat the lodge. I'm just gonna guess that if I had approached from the other side it would have been locked or something. What the actual fuck is going on here? Like I'm not a hunter. 
But this doesn't seem kosher. Oh shit, there's a fucking bear trap. Nothing of interest I see it. More like there's nothing I want to look at anymore. So let's have a look in here. I'll take that. Alright, we finally have a weapon and we're never gonna use it. No bear back in the great outdoors? Oh god, I think I just realized what that is. That's fucking disgusting. Downers. I'm just going to assume, Henry, that you know what a downer is because you researched it for one of your books. That's totally the reason. Now, where is this? Cabin. Anything in here? Well, at least this place is more sanitary. What the hell is that? A broken ward? Oh, it's a oh, it's a flashlight. Okay. It's a very, it's a very odd looking flashlight. Okay. So there's a bunch of hanging meat. Nothing I can interact with there. So let's just leave that alone. Oh, hello. Nope, I messed that up. Joel Jr.'s first kill. He shot like he was born with a rifle in his hands. He's gonna make his grandpa proud. That's wonderful. Now... Yeah, the echo never completely... Oh, you can only see it through the camera. Uh, where's this? Oh, it's like a side entrance. Okay, so they'll both lead through the same place. There's like a micro stutter anytime he goes to open the door, and it gets me every time. Oh, Mr. Mason. Officer Bennett? How did you get my number? I have your wallet. Where the hell are you? Lost in the woods. You just ran away from a police officer. You abandoned me. What? I'm not under arrest. Why can't I get up and leave? I mean... Mr. Mason, do not go anywhere. I am coming to get you. You hear me? I need to get back to town. Yeah, that'd be fair, Sybil. You did abandon him. Save the game, because I don't know if this game... Can one of you answer this? Does this game auto save or not? Mr. Mason. Harry. Look, is that it? All right, fine. You know what, well, just while we're walking up, let's try calling the house again. It's not gonna work, but...
All right, we can actually get some stop signs. So let's see what's Silent Hill. Not far as the crow flies. We got Brahms, which I think is where Sybil originally was from in the first game, and Toluca Lake. Not during snowfall, but I have been out in I have been out in the woods past midnight for reasons. Come on, son, finish it. I am ashamed to be your father. You got it in the leg. Now you gotta kill it. This is what we do. This is how the world works. Shoot. Father of the year back there. How am I driving? Oh, I gotta hear this. Five five five, seven two four three. Seven two four three. Uh, yeah, I got the kitchen one. It was the it was the hanging meat, wasn't it? You've reached how am I driving? Please state the incident you wish to report. Offensive behavior, illegal parking, curb crawling, tailgating. Interesting that offensive behavior was the first of those for a how am I driving service. But yeah, I got the one that was in the kitchen, I think. It was it was a it was a hanging piece of meat and they talked about how it's like, oh yeah, it's his first kill, it'll make grandpa proud. new waypoint. Uh, what is my new waypoint? <laughs> Game, you didn't actually tell me. Well, let me make sure. Oh, I can't go through that again. All right. We'll figure it out as we go. my destination, but it's where I started, so I guess we're trying to find a way to the other side. Nope, here they come.
No, that was super not worth it. I shouldn't have tried to climb that. Harry at some point healed. I don't know what triggered that. Maybe it's just a checkpoint thing. But he's not limping anymore. Okay. Oh boy, I am going the long fucking way around. Stupid idea. Mom! Not now, honey. Mommy's on the phone. Get out of bed. Play with your daughter. Uh, mommy! Squawk, hoot, squawk, squawk, Shush. hoot. Squawk, show daddy. hoot. This whole squawk, trip squawk, was a bad hoot. idea. A week picnicking and cycling. Squawk, That's hoot, gonna make squawk, it right. Squawk, hoot. I'm still squawk, hurting. Hoot, squawk, it feels squawk, fake. Hoot. Squawk, I don't want to be with him. Squawk, squawk. I won! Mom! I won! Right. Squawk, hoot, squawk, squawk. In a minute. Give me a second, Diane. Okay. Let's try that again. So. That's clock. Hoot. Okay. So. Squawk, hoot, squawk, squawk, hoot. Was that not it? No, I fucked up. Okay. Let's try that again. I'm on the phone. Yeah, okay. I'm coming back early. <laughs> this was a stupid idea. Mom! Not now, honey. Mommy's on the phone. Get out of bed. Play with your daughter. Uh, mommy! Quack, hoot, squawk, squawk, clock. Shush! Quack, hoot, Go show daddy. squawk, squawk, This whole clock. trip was a bad idea. Oh, fuck, I'm, I'm losing it cycling already. Cycling like that's gonna make it right. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh... Okay, so it was quack, squawk, no, quack, hoot, squawk, squawk, clunk. There we go. Uh, what was loud, Dash? Now, when you say that, you mean like, like way too loud? Like you want me to adjust it? The puzzle being solved. Okay. Has the game been, like, alright so far? Like, I haven't... Okay, good. Just making sure, because it's impossible for me to tell on my end without the audience's help, unfortunately. Although I did recently learn how I can listen to the playback. So, maybe I can figure out a solution with that. No, 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 no. The 
motions needed to throw them off are really unclear. <laughs> Oh, at this point, I don't care if fucking Sybil arrests me. Right? At least I won't be out here on my fucking own. Uh... Brian Overlook Viewpoint. And hey, this is the car. The one that I uh, drew. Uh, drew. Or it's just a coincidence that it's the same color. Pinned block. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I have a message? It's good to talk, Diane. I feel pretty alone out here. Hey, Mom, be careful. <laughs> Where's your dad? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. You're bleeding? On February 12th, 1730, Daniel R. Bryant and a, I learn something new every day. a group of 34 pioneers crossed Lake Toluca to arrive at Sightland Hill. During the Great Winter of 1729, the group had lost over 80 of its members, most of them children. Arriving in the area, the pioneers set. Uh, can't read it without zooming in. Uh, arriving in the area, the area, the pioneers set up camp here, where the elevated position gave them safety. This river, one of many that feed into the Lake Toluca, was a source of water and food for the settlers. Years later, when he died of influenza in 1743, Brian's body was buried in the town, and this overlook was named in his memory. dress has got me all hot and bothered. No! Well. Maybe it's not that old couple's car. Probably not. Although, interestingly, it does have all the same, like, red icons as Sybil's car, as if you could get in and interact with it. But it doesn't seem like you can. Maybe that's a thing later.
Okay, how's my batteries doing actually? Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, I am actually kind of lucky that I had those spares set up because I um I cycle out batteries for the VR controllers. And uh it's just lucky that like the ones I had cycled out I had remembered to put on charge. Officer? Harry, I've been calling you. Did you switch your phone off? No, I just, uh, I was, I don't know where I was. Harry, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm out of the woods. I'm on a football field. I think it's the high school. Midwich High School. Listen, Harry, Midwich has a gym. They often use it as an emergency shelter in severe weather. Go to the gym and wait there for me. Emergency shelter? Cheryl could have been taken there. Yes, Cheryl could be there. Will you do this for me? Yeah, I I'm going. But if Cheryl's not there, I can't wait. I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't. Harry, if... Oh, hey. It's so been a we while. get to the halcyon days of high school. When I was starting out, the popular theory said it was their mom and dad that screwed a person up. But if you really want to screw someone up, I say, send them to high school. You probably spend more time talking than studying at school. Lots of study groups, right? Okay, let's move on. What are you implying? I'm going to throw out some words. Nod when they fit how you were at school. Shake your head if they don't. Ready? Jock. No, definitely not. Next? Slut. I mean, not for the lack of trying. Uh, drunk. Nope. Not in high school. Ah. Virgin. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't do it that early. Hmm. Bully. Wait, I said no to virgin. I fucked up. No, I was not a bully. And... Slack. Yep, yeah, guilty as charged. Okay. Let's take a different tack. On the table, I've laid out a blank timetable and some cards with lessons on them. Pick out the lessons to show me your perfect school day. Don't leave any empty. There are only four periods, and I've allocated a very generous lunch. Okay, Doc. Oh, boy. What did I enjoy actually doing at school? Um... I guess I always kind of liked theater. Not first thing in the fucking morning. Uh, science was always kind of fun. Uh, creative writing? And now I'm kind of fucked, because like, the other options could just suck. Uh, if I had to choose, I guess, literature? Done. Yeah. Nice. If that was all there was to it, it would have been a breeze, wouldn't it? Come on. Let's talk more about the bad stuff that happened in I'd school. rather not, man. That's cutting a little too deep. That's getting a little too real. Still turn the flashlight on and off. But not much point to it right now. Man, I gotta give this game prompts because this is a this is a pre-HD era game in which the text is actually fucking readable. Like you have to zoom in for it, but like look how much of it the entire thing. Oh hey, that's a phone number. Five five five, talk. Uh, let's see, so what would that be? Five five five. Ah oh, shit, it's been fucking forever since I've seen a real phone keypad. Um, what would this be? Uh, I think R S. Come, Courtney, what? 
What even? I don't even know what you're trying to say. Um, I think it'd be seven. And then EA would be on one. And then... Uh, I guess L would be on six. And then... Uh, and then both on six. Let's try this. Yeah, no. Seven, two, five, five. I'll try that. Okay. Seven, two, five, five. Nope, uh, afraid not. Courtney, the postal dude doesn't have a phone. What are you, crazy? Can't even afford pants, let alone a mobile phone. School had security this bad. All right, fair enough, fair enough. But is it a good phone, though? And I'm determined to be petty about this. Uh, let's see. So I've got the keys. So let's get ourselves inside. That phone number, we'll have to just figure out another time. Although I think you are on the right track. Seven. Two would have been E B C because I think symbols was on one. Oh, are you? Oh, good. I'm I'm genuinely curious what you will think of that because like, sorry about that. My internet dropped. I had to do some steps to fix it as fast as possible, uh, but it worked. So we're good to continue. I don't know where the stream cut out for you guys. I think I caught it fairly quickly. Uh, we literally just ended the high school. So, shouldn't have missed anything. We were taking a look at the locker. It's like, oh, dead rat. Creepy. Yeah, so let's just continue like nothing happened. Uh, Corty, you were saying about how you're starting Burial at Sea. Uh, and I think I said something along the lines of, uh, I'm really curious what you think of that. Because uh, I really like that game. I really like that DLC but it plays nothing like anything else in the game. And I could easily see someone else hating it, whereas I absolutely adored it. All right, so, got another phone number up here. Will blank for cash or tequila? It's horrible, Cody. What, how, how long have you been playing it so far? Okay. Uh, dial 555 7588. The intro is my own personal hell. This is a voicemail. How do you mean? I changed my number so I don't have to listen to you losers anymore. You think it's funny. It's not. Oh, whoever oh. was that spoke to my mom, screw you. You sick bastards. Oof. Yeah, never give your number out to anybody in school. They... You can trust some fuck to abuse that. Choking game. Space monkey. Funky chicken. California high. Sound fun? Tell that to the over 50 people who have died playing this game over the last 10 years. Dying is no game. The choking game is dangerous and can lead to permanent injury and in many cases death. Don't throw your precious life away chasing a bullets. I wonder what the hell the choking game is. Is it as simple as it sounds? All students, there is a craze at the moment for young adults to try what is often called the choking game. Oh, well, here's our answer. Don't be stupid. There is plenty of sensations and simulations out there in the world without needing to starve your brain of oxygen. I remember uh, this piece of shit called Ryan. 
don't remember his last name. Probably best I don't see it on stream. But, um... He was sort of a friend, sort of a bully. He was one of those people you had a complex relationship with. Because you never fully got along. And depending on the week, he could be an absolute terror. And I remember I made the mistake of giving him my phone number back when I first got a proper, like, mobile phone in school. And he, when he was shifting into arsehole mode, would call me every single fucking hour, or even more frequently than that sometimes, just to hurl abuse at me, just to talk shit, he would send texts, and no, no, his first, his first name was Ryan, but he was just an absolute piece of shit, and it's funny in retrospect because it really upset me at the time. But looking back on it, it's like, man, how much money did he spend? Because, like, that was the era where everyone was on a pay-as-you-go type phone. Like, you had to top it up if you wanted to use it and talk to people. How much money did he spend on calls and texts just to harass me? We can't hear you when the static activates. Okay, well, I will turn it down a bit to, like, a minus 15. And I will just keep that in mind that the static is really loud. But yeah, uh, he, so he would harass me by calls and texts because I made a mistake of giving him my phone number. And in retrospect, it's like, man, how much money must he have spent doing that? Because fuck, I would never do that if I was on page you go. Like, even if I was the worst person, I was way too cheap to want to spend like five quid a week just to annoy someone. Piaget Go Koti is exactly as it sounds. It's um, instead of a contract, uh, you top up your phone like like a service, like a card, like a prepaid card. So you'd go to a shop with your pay card, and you'd say, "I want five pound on this," and they'd add that to your phone's balance, and that money could be used to pay for things. Like for example, there was like the early phone games before you had stuff like the proper app store. And you could also use them for calls, and you would, like, lose so many, like, pence per minute. Yeah, it kind of was. Like, they're probably the only people who still use it. Everyone these days has, like, some kind of contract. Um, like, me, I use, like, a like a, like a SIM-only contract. But back then, I was on page core because I didn't use my phone often, and like I figured this, it was cheaper. Maybe I know you're shy and stuff. That's how you are but but we have a connection why don't you trust me all the other guys are getting yeah okay sorry that's cheap You're damn right it is i might be the worst pickup line i've ever heard please have sex with me all the other guys are getting the sex That recording's gonna get used against me, isn't it? Courtney, don't you fucking dare. I can I can tell what you're thinking. Any second now, Courtney's gonna be like clipped. I fucking right before you typed it. Right before. Oh the timing on that. But don't do anything. Don't do that, though. That That's bad. It's bad to do. My perfect... My plastic perfect girl. I don't know, man. This feels like it's missing a few important things. My head? Oh, it's just... Well, I, I dyed it uh, silver. Uh, but I have naturally curly hair. And now that it's grown back out, it's just a fucking garden. Of uh, silver hair and black hair. Uh, I'm gonna get a cut tomorrow. Just take the whole thing off. Hello again. Hey, sorry we uh, the stream died for like a few minutes, but I was able to get it back. All right, so there's another thing in here I can zoom in on. Is it this? Is this? Ooh, 
Sugu Spooky. Was Rick upset because of Todd? Man, I didn't think that kid had any friends. You joke, uh, <laughs> Pony, but like, when when things get windy and things get cold, get fucking scared, because like, the chase sequences in this game, like this game's version of combat, is way more terrifying to me than like, actually fighting enemies. Oh, you've seen this game before? Yeah, I got fucking lost in the first chase area and was running around in circles, just losing my mind. Actually, where am I going? Where's my destination? Oh, it's, uh, it's the gym. So I'm technically going in the wrong direction, but it'll probably circle around in a second. These are some questionable kids' drawings. Are those booba? That that is that is a booba. And that kid's right. That you know what? That's pretty cool. It's like the ending of uh, Never Ending Story. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I, this is the first time I've properly played it, Dash, but, like, so far, it's already miles better than everything else that came after the original four games. Nice. Oh, uh, there it is. I was going to see it eventually. But, you know, that's not exactly hard when you've got things like fucking... Uh, what are they even called again? Homecoming... Downpour, Book of Memories, oh god, Book of Memories. Book of Memories hurts me because it's made by a developer I actually really like, but it's possibly one of the worst ones. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was, I was so angry. I, I just, I wanted it to be so perfect, you know? I guess seeing the, the wig kind of killed the moment. You, you, all, you almost had it. I'm, I'm sorry, what, dude? Pigtails. Well, yeah, Dash, but, like, that's because they have a good musician for most of the Silent Hill games, even the bad ones. Like, I feel... That's like seeing Sonic games have good music. Like, yeah, true, but that's not enough. I need more. I need a reason to play it as opposed to just listen to the album on YouTube. Although you do raise a good point, I probably should look up the Book of Memory soundtrack. I'm gonna start trying to put together a D&D &D game again. I'm probably gonna run something in Chibi Finder. And I might need some like, horror atmospheric music. Transform Athletic Club. Is there a phone number? No. I'm always on the eye for phone numbers. Oh shit, what the hell? Did I just draw on the map? I did. I didn't know you could do that. Neat. Let's find a nice empty space. And... Hard to do dots in place. 
So it really wants you to move. No. There we go. Dig butt. I never claimed to be a good artist. Thank you, Pony. I tried very hard to capture my own likeness, but I know I don't have a mirror or anything. Chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll go with that. It's I totally meant for it to look like chicken wings. It's amazing likeness, isn't it? Uh, Wonderland, I have... I have gone in fucking circles. This is the wrong way. Okay, so this road's blocked. Okay, I need to get to that black door there. So I'd have to jump up there, come across. All right. Oh, here's a phone number. Five five five. Okay, five four seven seven, and it's the cat house. Oh boy, I might regret this. This is going to be hard to explain on my phone bill. Oh yeah, Pony, I do this because um Hi, this is a cat house. Gentlemen, in a we have some nasty females for you. They're caged and in heat. Yours to do with as you mm. want. Forty five minutes with one of our cats is two hundred dollars. But three hundred dollars, she's yours for one and a half hours. Your money assures her obedience. Okay, one, creepy, but two, pretty good rates. Um, no, what I was going to say was, um, the by default, when you have phone calls and stuff, any noises with his phone come through the Wiimote, but I switched it to be the telly. But just out of habit, I'm still putting the thing to my ear every time a phone call starts. So, let's get upstairs. Let's jump across the gap. I feel like I already did and I just... Hold on, what's this? Oh. Probably the momento in here. Uh, suffocated forever. It's an ant inside amber, I think. Okay, call Sybil. Oh, good point. Been a while. No, Courty. No more Rick Astley. Harry? Midwich. Emergency shelter. Okay. If I can get the downstairs door that's directly forward here, then I can get out of here. Yeah, that was my mistake. There's two routes, and I ended up doing the loop rather than going towards the actual intended exit. Chibzil doesn't need your money. Uh, let's see. Where am I? Oh, another phone call. 5122. Nope. Uh. Mushy mush. Oh, it's still ringing.
reach Midwich High School. Here at Midwich, every student feels special. Our students' emotional well-being is as important as their academic achievement. Midwich High School is currently closed due to severe weather. Snow day conditions apply. Midwich High School High Senior Players is a production of Connie, the School of Hard Knocks. Look at you. Aren't you just about the most perfect schoolgirl there ever was? With those pigtails, I doubt there is any little girl in the world quite as perfect as you. I don't think that's a guy talking to his daughter. Yep. We already found a pigtail wig in the uh, House of Lady Favors. So, uh, yikes. 